Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create the object based on the movement and we will create the cam shafts. You can see that I prepared some small assembly and if I use the drag components it's possible to move for example valve or shaft, yes, it's possible to spin. And also the sub-assembly what is marked here. So first of all what we will create we will jump into mechanism and in mechanism we will create connection between subassembly and the valve components and we will use the cam connection. For the cam connection it's possible to select the surface and if you come from OK the system asks for you from the front reference as the point and end reference or back reference. If you come from the second cam part it's possible to use the drop down menu here and you can really easy select necessary curve. If you would like to use the more than one, please select the control, come from OK on OK and system will apply cam connection. You would like to see, for example, that the orientation is here. Yeah. And we will create also drag components and I will create a snapshot. I'd like to reuse this snapshot, the placement of this object for the analysis. If I will close it, now we would like to specify the servo motor. The servo motor is easy to create because you can select the axis and use the flyout menu and system allow to you to specify the servo motor for the rotation axis and as the function type over here I'd like to show you that right now is the constant but I'd like to reuse the ramp and we will start in zero and at the end will be 360 degree. We will confirm and as the second you can use the opposite that you will select icon and then you will select the transition axis. And over here we will specify for example the cosine and also we can play with graph a little bit. So please specify the necessary value and you can use the positive value or set the negative value and set the time and everything will be ready. If I will come from OK, now we can say that we have prepared the cam connection and necessary servo motors. And if we will create an analyze, we would like to use the time as the one. And as I mentioned, the current snapshot will be snapshot one. Over here in the servo motor, you can see there are two motors, one and two. OK, you remember for a while that the first one was the rotation and second one was movement. But also it's possible to select, for example, edit definition directly here in the properties tab. You can mark that is the position or, for example, cam. Yeah, so specify the name as you want, so rename. And if you select the definition again for the analyze, you can see here that the second motor cam was changed. And the second motor I will not run for one second and the framework will be, for example, 120. So the second motor will be ended in the 0 0.25 second. What does it mean? If I will run, it will be move a little bit, but shaft will be still spinning. So the movement of this small sub-assembly it's only for a quarter of the second but the shaft is spinning for one second okay that looks good and we would like to reuse the functionality of the trace curve and the trace curve has a couple of options Tr please check the previous tutorial how to create a trace curve or over here we would like to reuse and we will create where we would like to create a curve will be in this object. So I will come from OK. We will reuse the analysis what has been defined a second ago. And right now I don't want to create a trace curve, but cam synthesis curve. What does it mean? The system asks you or select the edge. So if you will select the edge, come from OK and middle button. As you can see, the curve has been created and we can create the necessary information and continue with the modeling. So I will open the shaft, yeah, the analysis we don't need. And over here is really easy. The second 
curve we can hide, it's not necessary, and this curve we will reuse for the extrude feature, and for example, we will symmetrically extend it, and we can specify some value. Yeah, so perfect. So right now, if we will go back here, everything is defined, and if I will reuse the orientation again, and we run the actual analysis again, we can see that I will run, and everything's going really well. And in the playback mode, you can see how it looks like. So we can run the speed and run the animation. Right now you can see that the movement is based on the curve that was created. Yeah? Our curve was definite as the movement, but we can do it opposite. So right now the shaft exists and we can delete the mechanism constraint. So I will delete the cam position. Yeah? And we can simply delete. OK. So right now, if I would like to spin the model, you can see that it's not working again. Yeah. But simply and easy, create a new cam connection. And I will use the auto select between these surfaces. And as the cam 2, we will reuse again the cam connection. And auto select. OK. OK. And the system will snap these two surfaces all together. And we are able to spin the shaft and the system will follow the surface now. So it looks good. And if we will jump into analysis and edit definition, you can see that I have deleted the second servo motor. So right now it's only one. And you can change, for example, that you would like to spin for five seconds. And for example, frame rate will be 60. It's only about the visualization how many frames the system will create for you. And also, for example, the spinning and rotation, we can say like this and run. So in this video tutorial, you have seen how it's possible to create the shape of the shaft or camshaft based on the movement of the components. And later we have apply the cam connection based on the created surfaces. I hope so that you like this video tutorial and example. Stay tuned and hit the button of the like on the video or share it with your friends. Thank you and bye bye. Vladimir.